Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you get a sky that kind of could be better. So this one here is it's got a bit of blue here, but it's, it's a bit weak. And uh, here this is cloud. Yeah. So what can we do? Here's, here's a really very quick and easy way of improving the sky. So we we'll start off, we're going to go to the selection brush and select that. Make sure that snap to edges is on. And then we're just going to select the sky. This picture is reasonably easy. It's one of the reasons I chose it. And I can alt click to recover bits back up here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because this is not really a video about selecting. So refine, then we go paint over things to bring them back, then apply. There we go, that'll do. Now then, the key thing here is we're going to put in a Trick number one is put in a new fill layer. And the reason we're doing this is going to be easy to fill and play around with the color of it. So let's put in a color here. We'll select, say, sort of a, a blue up here, you know, maybe, or something that looks a bit skyish, what it'll do, something like that. And then the question is how you're going to blend it in. And go to down here, darken. That's not much help. Multiply. Problem here is the whites, the clouds are, are all going blue. We want to re retain that. So we go to color burn. It because color burn protects the whites, you get the whites of the sky, as well the clouds coming back. And you're already looking pretty good. Then all we need to do is play around with the color here. And it's easier way to do that is if I go up to that little hamburger here and choose the wheel. Because now I can play around with this a lot more. I can rotate this around to pick the basic colour. And what you start to find is if you go up towards the blue there, you're going to get something fairly dark. If you go to white, you're going to get nothing. It's the same as before because it is a darken mode and white is transparent for darkens. Down to black, it's black. But up and down the, between white and black here, effectively you're putting in a, a grey overlay. And, th and that can be quite interesting in itself. Find somewhere interesting there, then sort of go inland to see what you can see increasing the amount of blue coming out of the picture. See, like around here, you're getting more in there. And then finally tweak the opacity down a bit to make it a little bit more realistic. But you're going to add a little more, bit more texture in it. You're going to keep the clouds. And overall, very simple improvement along the way. I can hit Control D, by the way, to get rid of those marching ants. Didn't need those after the fill layer. And there you are. Very, very quick. Very, very easy. A sky just boosted up a bit and the white of the clouds preserved and a bit more colour put into it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.